Well, here we are again, Valentine's Day. It only seems a year since it was Valentine's Day before. Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, as usual, we start the day with an exchange of cards, don't we, darling? We do, darling. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There's yours. And there's one. yours. And there's mine. They're just a bit smaller than, you, than, than the one I've given you. Well, I should think so. You're bigger than me at any other time, so why shouldn't you be smaller for once? Thank you very much. I'll look inside. Is this right? Halloween card? Oh no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Lovely. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day to my amazing husband. I can't stop smiling every time I think of you. <laughs> Well, I'm laughing now. Sending lots of special wishes and then to tell you too, you make my world a happy place just by being you. Look that. You see it? <laughs> With love to my wife, always and forever, sending all my love to you, we'll see you house. Sending all my love so you will see how special you are to me. I never knew until I met you. Fifty years ago, Mom Ma. How happy life could be. I never knew that anyone could mean so much to me. But ever since you came my way, true happiness is mine. And that's why all my love comes with this special valentine. All my love, Barbara. Have a happy Valentine's Day, Rod. Kiss, 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 kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> well, that's exchange of cards done. Wow. I'm going to make breakfast now. <laughs> Our Valentine's breakfast. Yes. Our special event on Valentine's Day. So, and then later on we'll be having a Valentine cake. And later on still, I'll be showing you how to make a valentine cake yourself, so that you'll be prepared next year. So, see you in a jiff. Oh, the car's gone on the floor, that's it. Where are we going to put them off? They're a bit big. I think we can turn the fire off now and put them on the hob. Ah, oh, yes. Better turn the fire off first. Yeah. Otherwise it's going to be a real hot valentine's day, isn't it? <laughs> to wait till it cools down a bit, eh? Yeah. I've got your present, you know. And I've got you one. Oh, Valentine's Day present, thank you. Let's get them then, eh? Yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what you've got, mate. Oh, this is great. Look at this. It's an R.O.B. Smart 4. Just what I wanted. My other toothbrush battery runs out in about 30 seconds. New one. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll clean my teeth with this after breakfast. Whoa, lovely. Right, well, I've got your, your one and uh, it's in the presentation pack. Um, as you can see. And, uh, oh, uh, so, uh, I wonder what it is. I don't know, I think we need some scissors. There's a scissor thing. Oh, don't know where the scissors are, I can't find them. Oh, what's that? Oh! <laughs> right, 
there they are. Right. <laughs> Have we got some of the anus salt for sore bums? <laughs> no. Oh, never mind. <laughs> from the director's hand. Oh, what's oh. this? Oh. Oh, lovely. Just what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, beauty armors. First time I've seen them, you know. <laughs> On loft internet. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ooh. Dandelion print. Like them? I do. What do I get then? Wow. Oh. There we are then, that'll do for that. 100% cotton. <laughs> it won't make me itch. It won't make me itch either. Yes, it's ringing. Can't wait for somebody to ring the bell. Neither can I, Bob. I wonder who it's going to be. We don't get many visitors now since lockdown, do we? It's usually delivery men. I know. <laughs> we have to sit here now and wait for somebody to appear. <laughs> <laughs> and then hear them ring the bell. bell. Wow. Hey Rod, I've just seen somebody coming up the path, I'm sure I have. Oh, I'll go and have a look. Oh, it was just a delivery. But uh, I don't think he saw the bell. I've told him next time, give it a ring. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, never mind. I know. Hang a handbell on the knocker. Yes, okay. I think I know where the handbell is. I'll go and get it. Okay. Right, now we'll get a ring. <laughs> I'll hang it on the knocker, just like he said. This should do the trick. Watch this. I'll just fasten this, wow, onto the knocker, here it goes, fasten it like that, go like that, you see, and we go like this, and wow, now then knock it. Wow, that's great. Ah, right. Anyway, that's done. <laughs> see what happens now. Oh, let's sit here for a bit, see what happens. I don't suppose anybody will come for a bit. I've got a few things to be delivered. Oh, that's strange. Somebody used the knocker and the handbell didn't go. I wonder what's happened. Oh, what? You found it on the drive? Oh. Oh, it must have dropped off the knocker. What do you mean? Oh, never mind, never mind. It's a long story, but thank you. Thank you for bringing it and letting us know it was down there and bringing it in.
Bella dropped off the knocker, he was bringing it back. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what, what am I going to do? Oh, I have to go and hang it back on again. Well, give up. Don't give up. Yeah. Bring it. I'm not bothered now. Oh, listen. It's ringing. Somebody's there. <laughs> Kids running away. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I give up. Someone wants to see a bell. They want, they want to push it. <laughs> push everything to the limits, don't they? <laughs> don't ask for whom the bell tolls. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Bob, I've got something for us to drink with our cake. Top notch. We've got some Lagavulin Ooh, whiskey. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh. From the Isle of Isla. Wow. Gorgeous. Nice stuff, yeah. So, we'll have some of that. And what will it do? What do we, What does it do? Makes you frisky. Whiskey makes you frisky. Right, so, what we got for bedtime? Brandy. Lovely. Oh, yeah, lovely. Brandy. That'll make us frisky. You thought I was going to say something else. <sighs> There's not uh, not a lot left, is there? No. Oh, is it time we had some cake now? Yes, I'm looking Let's forward to some enjoy. cake. Let's go and enjoy. Are we going to cut it together? We can do, yeah. Okay. Oh. Right, Bella, what have you got for us? Right then, are we ready? Ready. Get it through the icing. Whoa. Yeah. Don't press down on the blade because it's double edged. Will it cut through that? I don't think so. Oh, it has done. I think so. Yeah. There we are. First piece for you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll let, have, we'll let you have the rest of your crumbs here. <laughs> lovely. Wow, it's rich as that, isn't it? It's lovely. Lovely, yeah. There you are. Thank you. That's right. it for you. Yeah. It's okay. Some crumbs for you. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> well, I've got a bigger piece than you. Oh, I'll have another. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's Lovely. Go Let's go and try. Right, just a little whiskey. Too early for too much. <laughs> Very nice. Absolutely superb. Mm. Rich, full of fruit. Mm. Gorgeous icing. Lovely. Mm. Struvlia. Yeah. Cheers.
Nectar. And now, of course, I'm sure you're dying to know how this was made. So, I'm going to show you, but I'll be back when I finish this cake. You know, February the 2nd, after a long hard winter thus far, all eyes in America were on Gobbler's Knob. If you've ever wondered what Gobbler's Knob is like, here's some footage from the United States. Looking live at Gobbler's Knob at dawn from Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Happy Groundhog Day. Thank you for joining us wherever you are. Normally, there are thousands of you here with us helping us celebrate. This year, a few of you did manage to sneak in in replica form. We have your cutouts. We've put you down front. Your avatars are our crowd, and you look great. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. The Seer of Sears, the great Oz of weather forecasting, Punxsutawney Phil. Gentlemen, let's find out what Phil has to say. Come round. Oh, hi. What do you think? Wait a minute. Let me. This one? Is it this one? Okay. Okay. We think we have a prediction. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Now, this second day of February, 2021, Punxsutawney Phil, the seer of seers, the prognosticator of all prognosticators, we have all passed through the darkness of night, but now see hope in morning's bright light. But now, when I turn to see there's a perfect shadow cast of me. Six more weeks of winter there will be. Uh, anyways, there you have it. It is Groundhog Day, and Puxitani Phil has predicted uh, six more weeks of winter. But this is not a, a typical Groundhog Day uh, up there in Gobbler's Knob. Um, normally it is packed. Normally there are people partying all night until uh, the early morning hours when Puxitani Phil makes his appearance. Not a lot of people know that a similar event occurs here, so close to us near Bradford. Yes, up in Bronte country, not far away from us. But this year, of course, it's not quite the same. As in America, the events had to be altered. This time, it's going to be indoors. In fact, it's going to be here. Because I am going to be talking to Ratty Ethel myself. In Ratty Ease. Not many people can understand that. But we communicate by telepathy. If Ratty Ethel sees a shadow, wouldn't for an early spring. But if she doesn't see a shadow, oh dear, it's six more weeks of winter here. Anyway, first, let's have a look at where the event normally takes place. Bab, uh, just turn the camera a bit more, just, just a bit bit more to the right, bit more to the right, bit more to the right, that's it, yes, that's better, you've got it right now. Now as you can see, it's Penniston Hill, but this year, well, no crowds, nothing. Here we are, and I'm going to communicate with Ethel. Barbara is going to hold Ethel because she can't always be guaranteed to stay where you want her to be. She's alright, not one bite. She might. Oh. Right, well she's never bitten me before, but uh, let's Don't just try it. Bring, bring, bring her over here. Bring her over here. Touch, touch heads. Touch heads. Yeah, whisper. 
Yeah, she's got a decision. Now normally there's two scrolls, but this gear, Ratty, in her own hand, has written three. Let's have a, another little tete-a-tete, -tete, another little conversation in Ratty's. Yes, yeah, she's definite what she wants. She's written three scrolls, and what she said is, ask Barbara to open the middle one and read it. No idea. Ask Paul the weatherman on Look North. Oh, brilliant. After all that, rat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think I've seen it. I haven't seen it. Hiya, so I'm going to show you the first of the ingredients. Now, if you're making a cake for Valentine's Day, you really need to think about it in December. I'll show you why. Now, here's the main ingredient. There we are. That is a Christmas cake, bought last December. That's our first ingredient. The next stage is to take the Christmas cake and place it on a flat surface like this. And you'll also possibly need a knife to get into the wrapping. Then carefully remove the Christmas cake from the box, putting it on a clean flat surface. Now as you'll see, we've chosen one that already had a heart shape on it. You see the three berries in the middle. You may not always be able to get that, but if you're lucky, it's a head start in making your Valentine's cake. See? Well now then, oh. <clears throat> now the next move does require a computer. And what you can do is download an appropriate picture onto some glossy and print it onto some glossy paper like this. But before you print it, make sure you put your names on it. And a little bit of love maybe at the top, eh? How's that? Now of course, this can either lie down or, in this case, because we've already got a heart there, we're going to stand it up. I'll show you how we do that. Now, the next part requires some adhesive tape and a plastic fork, although other things would do, um, use your imagination on this one and all we need to do is to take the picture get the adhesive tape like this you see tear some off and fix it on the back like that keeping the fork as straight as you can right there it goes you got that and now it's pretty easy now to finish the cake off by putting that immediately behind the heart shape. <coughs> so 
Sometimes you might find that the icing is quite hard. And there it is. You don't have to have a cake stand, but it's a good idea. And I'm now going to get Barbara's Granny's cake no, stand. Nana. Oh, sorry. Never granny. <laughs> right, try again. And now, this. <clears throat> and now we need to present it nicely. And a good way to do that is to find your Nana's cake stand if you have one. And as it happens, we have one. Now this isn't compulsory, but here we are. Barbara's Nana's cake stand and our <coughs> yeah, uh, Valentine's Day cake. You see? Very simple to do, that is. Enjoy yourselves venturing into your cake making. I hope you enjoy doing it as much as I have doing this.